Today on Eagle Nation News, Gashida Kama highlights the library's reading challenge. A Salina teacher was recently robbed. Haley Brown will dive deeper into the story later in the show. And finally, McKinley Bounds will be in the studio discussing a major high school event on April 6th. Eagle Nation News starts right now. Good afternoon, Prosper High School. Today is Friday, March 8th. I'm Christina Folsom. And I'm Casey Boston. Now, normally we have game time today. We don't have ENN, mm -hmm. um, but today is International Women's Day. So yeah. we have us on desk together. Yeah, and we'll have McKinley Bounds in studio with Eagle Update later in the show. Yeah, and speaking of the holiday, a Women's Day was first nationally recognized in the United States in 1909 in honor of the 1908 Garment Workers' Strike, where women protested against working conditions. Nowadays, the holiday is celebrated nationally to honor the social progress women have made throughout the last century. Promise House hosted a gathering yesterday night into this morning called the Unsheltered Experience. In this community, members would give up their beds to sleep in sleeping bags outside to see what a night being homeless is actually like. Around 60 people ended up attending and gaining a new perspective on what hundreds of thousands of people have to go through every single day. For those who are avid readers, the library may have just the thing for you. Kashada Kama has more on the library's reading challenge. If you've been on Twitter, you may have noticed your friends tweeting about the 7-Day Book Challenge, a challenge to encourage kids to read and show off their books without reviews. With the people that you hang out with or your friends with, you're probably more alike than you are different. So the people I challenged, which were the big like band and football and all that, so I challenged them to certain books. And it may be something that they want to want to read or at least look into. The seven day reading challenge started as Dr. Burdett tweeted he was challenged and began to spread it around the school. He challenged everyone from the spirit leaders to the PHS athletics, giving everyone the opportunity to participate. I became involved in the challenge when Dr. Burdett actually tagged us on Twitter for the challenge. So he tagged the PHS spirit leaders account, which is something that I'm a part of. And so through him challenging us to do the challenge, we were able to get involved. The challenge's main goal is to help kids find books to read and allows people's friends to recommend a book. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Gashida Kama. Prosper. A common tendency among women is to hang their purses on their chairs at restaurants. But what made one Salina teacher regret this decision? Find out after this. Wait, don't leave your trash on the tables. Yes, the custodians are here to clean the school, but they are not here to pick up after you. So please, throw away your trash. A Salina teacher hung her purse on the back of her chair at a Panera Bread. She got home and received notifications from her bank that transactions had been made. The question that remains is how did the suspects get away with it? Haley Brown has more. You might not think that stopping for dinner on the way home would put you in any immediate danger. However, Salina resident Gage Gibbs explained how his mom became a victim of a robbery at Panera on Saturday night. Uh, so it was uh, Saturday, my, uh, my mom went out to eat at Panera Bread there at Hardin and McKinney. She called me and said, hey, my wallet just got stolen. And there were alerts that came through on her phone. And someone tried to use the Costco card at Best Buy. And they said that and there was a charge of... Uh, $2,800 from Best Buy and so she was like oh my gosh I, and so I better call and cancel the card but I'm gonna call Gage first and let him know that my wallet got stolen then my mom you know came a few minutes later and they asked us back and showed us the uh, security footage mom had no idea because if you can see from the video she's just sitting there minding her business and a lot of people are saying how does she not know she was there she's so oblivious and yes she was oblivious you know but she had no idea and she's very observant and um, they just picked up her purse, grabbed it, and, and walked out, and they didn't eat anything. They just walked in, found a victim, and left. 
Gibbs goes on to explain the strange charge attempts made on his parents' credit cards, including an attempt to use a Costco card at Best Buy. I don't think they're amateurs, you know what I mean? I think they're professionals. They've done this a time or two. I figured I ought to share it on Facebook and let people know and see if they recognize them and call McKinney PD because we did file a report with the uh, McKinney McKinney Police Department after the fact. And and so there's investigators and detectives on the case now. And I was thinking that just a few of my friends would... um, share it and maybe, you know, get the word out to some people, you know, be looking out for these people or at least be aware not to just leave your purse hanging there. Well, all of a sudden, this was at 10 o'clock yesterday when I posted the video and now we're up to about 55,000 views and about 1,500 shares. And so hopefully um, with that exposure and now on the news and uh, doing this, um, people will will keep their eyes peeled and maybe recognize them. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Haley Brown, Prosper. Up next, McKinley Bounds will be in studio covering an event that will be here in just one month. Now we send it over to McKinley Bounce for more on prom. Thank you, Christina. Prom is less than a month away, so it's time to start getting a group together and making plans. Now you may say, McKinley, what is this prom? And I'll say, prom is a formal spring dance for juniors and seniors only. This dance will be hosted in South Fork Ranch's Oil Barons Ballroom on April 6th from 7 to 11 p.m. Now if you buy a ticket by March 17th, the price will be $75, but if you wait till March 18th, they'll jump up to $80. This year's theme is Starry Night, and it'll be something that you definitely don't want to miss. That's all I have for you today. For Eagle Nation News, I'm McKinley Bounds. Back to you at the desk. Thank you, McKinley. Now let's take a look at the meeting schedule for the next few weeks. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Casey Boston. I'm McKinley Bounds. And I'm Christina Folsom. Happy International Women's Day.